We get the question, when should I start the home buying process all of the time? And it's a great question, and one that ultimately changes as the market conditions change. So let's dig into this question of when to start the home buying process. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. Welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that link and subscribe button below. And if you want to talk real estate mano a mano, then find my information in the description below as well. Now, a lot has changed in the last couple of years. And at this point, I kind of feel like the old man sitting on the porch, rocking back and forth and talking about the good old days. A couple of years ago, we could meet with a buyer and go over with what they were looking for in the market and then actually turn to the market and find some options for them. Today, that's just not the case. I was talking with a buyer and she provided me three large towns as a target area. There were seven houses for sale in all price ranges, just seven. And these are large suburbs around the Boston Metro market. Being a buyer today takes more time, more patience, and more preparation. If you're one of those buyers that just run out and start touring houses without coming up with a plan, then get prepared for a world of frustration and heartbreak. So why is it that we're seeing these market dynamics of an extreme seller's market? It's a really great question and one that there's ultimately no single answer for. Yes. You will hear about how we can't build enough and how new build starts are low, but we are a rather mature market in Boston with little possibility of major development like you can see in a lot of markets in the South. I can't stand the COVID excuse anymore. I really can't, but this one isn't really an excuse. COVID changed the way we live and utilize our houses. We've seen a shift back to where people actually value more spaces where pre-COVID, we were seeing trends of people wanting smaller spaces and being closer to metro areas. COVID also changed the way we work, which has directly affected our housing needs as well. Even after COVID, many people are still working from home. And in order to work from home, you need space. Trust me, it's not ideal to be working from home on the couch with two young girls running around and screaming. I can attest to that one. But with people working from home, this means they are not worried about a commute and maybe willing to work in a house that is further away from that major metro area as space is becoming more important than the location to a lot of these folks. Now, then there's where we live. Boston and the Boston metro area is a pretty awesome spot to live in. It's a beautiful city that is rich in history from stunning coastal communities to the rolling hills of uh, New England. It's a great place to call home. Then add in what is considered the best state for education and our strong economy, it kind of becomes a no brainer as to why people move here. And this trend has also eaten up a, a lot of our housing supply. Now, another reason for the housing shortage is corporate or private equity players buying up properties to actually hold and rent them out as investments. And there are no signs that these companies are going to slow down, let alone stop. So when to start that home buying? You want to give yourself some time. We recommend that people give themselves at least six months of time before they're against that hard move date, like a lease ending or maybe bringing a baby from the hospital home event, right? Or a lot of times we'll actually start working with a client who maybe needs to clean up a credit inquiry or two that they didn't know about in order to get that more favorable rate. This is a big decision. Most likely the largest purchase of your life. You do not want to feel rushed. You want to be prepared and know that you're ultimately making the best decision for you. And if you have one, your family. This is why it's so important to build out six months in your timeline. Now, on average, we see a 45 day close timeline in Massachusetts. So this six months allows us a little longer search and offering stage than we, we would have originally recommended just a couple of years ago. So if you're thinking about making a move in the next six months, then reach out to us and know that we can start the home buying process and meet with you to walk through all of the steps that you're gonna go through and also talk to you about what's happening in the marketplace and then come up with a customized offer strategy and most importantly, do a deep dive and really understand what you need in a home so we can go out there and find it for you. Now, if you're wondering when to start the home buying process, then you might be curious to know about breaking a lease when you buy a new home. If that's the case, then this video on the screen now, it might just be worth a watch.